The DSP meter in key stage represents the percent drop duration that it takes for all audio units to render their audios in one render cycle. This number should never go above 100% because otherwise you will start hearing audio glitches. And this number depends on several factors like the power of your iPad, uh, the number and the types of audio units that you use in one song, and also the buffer size that you choose here. Now, certain audio units like the ones here causes the DSP to go about 100% or just spike whenever you change sounds in them, whenever you load new presets. So if I open and go into presets, anytime I choose a preset, you can see that the DSP goes up to 90%, even if the idle DSP is around 6%. And also in Hammond app, now this even goes to 99% or sometimes 100%. Now, there are a couple of ways to overcome this issue. One of them is turn the full state off. If the full state is off, it, it never changes from section to section. You can't change the sounds of, of this plugin throughout the song, but it never causes the DSP to spike. Now, the other method, if you want to change sounds, there is a new feature in 2.2 and above. If you tap advanced, you have a new option here. While changing full states, pause rendering for X milliseconds. For example, let's start with 100 milliseconds. Okay, so 100 milliseconds is not enough. What this option does is, it pauses the rendering of this audio unit just before it starts changing its preset. Therefore, it doesn't affect the DSP. So 100 milliseconds is not enough. Let's try 200 milliseconds. As you can see, the DSP just doesn't change right now, but... So one 200 milliseconds seems to be like on the edge. To be on the safe side, I'll just increase this to 250 milliseconds. And now you can see sound changes doesn't cause the DSP to spike because the audio render is temporarily paused during section changes or during preset changes. So this same thing happens when I do here. This no, no longer causes the DSP to spike. Okay, what is the drawback of this? The drawback is the sound cuts off for about quarter a second, uh, 250 milliseconds while changing the sections. And this is actually useful if you have seamless audio on because with seamless audio on, your uh, initial sound will continue because there are now two copies of the Hammond app. But the problem is, as soon as I change to this section, it will not just start sounding right away. So there will be a small pause when, when the, the second sound becomes active. This option is really handy when it comes to plugins like this. This number really depends on, again, the number of plugins that you use, the buffer size that you choose here, and also the, the, uh, your iPad's power. So you have to experiment with this number. And while you're experimenting, turn seamless audio off because that this might be misleading with, with, with your experiments.